have here is a floating reamer holder. I often get questions about these, about how they work and what's the advantage. You can see that it creates a, a gimbal effect uh, which allows the reamer to follow the um, hole in the barrel more accurately. So what's happening is the reamer is actually floating and following the hole. Most of these, uh, they come in different styles. Most of these tools don't actually gimbal um, on multiple axis, you know, like this. What they're actually doing is they're just moving circularly. You can see how this one can move up and down, side to side. And uh, it's just allowed to float enough so that uh, if the barrel happened to be ever so slightly out of alignment, this would help follow it and it would um, eliminate the need to be super, super precise in dialing in your tailstock. That doesn't mean you can get away with not dialing in your tailstock. You still want to make sure that your barrel is aligned with the bore of the lathe and that your tailstock is aligned with the bore as well. If you don't know how to do those things, there's lots of uh, videos on YouTube that talk about how to set up a lathe and how to do that sort of thing, and I'd refer you to those. But the main purpose we had here was just to show you how these work. They come several styles. There are round shank ones. This one happens to be a tapered shank that goes right into the tailstock. The round shank ones, usually guys grab them in the uh, drill chuck in their tailstock. They're every bit as effective, just a little different way of approaching it. Might speed up your setup a little bit. And uh, just a little tidbit of information, quick way to accomplish a better job with a simple tool.